What's going on y'all? Today we got a bit of a vinegar showdown going on. In the past we've used a lot of vinegar to remove rust uh, from tools and household materials, but today we're gonna find out which is better, apple cider vinegar, industrial vinegar, or plain old regular white distilled vinegar. I've had a lot of comments where people say different vinegars are better, but we're gonna put all that to rest and we're gonna find out which one is better at removing rust from tools and other household items. All right, so we got apple cider vinegar, 30% industrial strength vinegar, and then we got plain old distilled vinegar right here. Uh, we got three Tupperware containers where we're gonna put the vinegar in, and the vinegar will soak with the tools for 24 hours. Now I have several pairs of pliers and other different tools here. I'm gonna make sure that I try to uh, distribute them equally amongst the three based on condition. Uh, and then try to get a pretty accurate read on which of these vinegars do a better job at removing that rust. But without further ado, let's go ahead and put these tools in these containers, cover them with vinegar, and come back 24 hours later. I can definitely smell the 30% uh, vinegar is a lot stronger. <clears throat> Boy, it's got a real strong vinegar odor to it. Almost locks your jaw up. Man, that stuff's strong. All right, we have our tools soaking right now. We're gonna give it 24 hours. Come back, check back in with y'all, show y'all how they did. All right, so we've been sitting right at about 21 hours. We wanted to take it 24, but it's looking like it might rain on us. So we're gonna stop it at 21, head over here and see what the vinegar did. All right, so looking at it right here with the apple cider vinegar, it's hard to tell how much rust actually broke down because of the color of the apple cider vinegar. So it was brown to begin with. So we don't see much there. Now moving on to the industrial vinegar, it's definitely taking on kind of a copper orangish color uh, and looks like it's broken down a pretty good amount of rust. And then over here at the distilled white vinegar, you can see a lot of rust particles down in the bottom of the container, uh, but you don't see a whole lot of color change uh, that's taking place with the actual vinegar itself. All right, so what we're gonna do now is see how much the vinegar has broken down the rust on these tools. Uh, to do that, the first thing we're gonna do is use a rag to see how much we can just wipe off of there, see the ease of the rust removal. Uh, after we use the rag, we're gonna apply a bristle brush to it and see you know, how much effort it takes to get that rust off with a bristle brush. And then lastly, we're gonna put a wire brush on there and that should pretty much knock down uh, the rest of the rust, but we're pretty much just gonna see how easily the rust comes off using each of these steps. All right, so digging in here with the apple cider vinegar. All right, so go ahead and take our rag. These had a pretty good amount of rust on them right here when we started. They've pretty much taken on a black color right now. So it's kind of hard to see a whole lot, but that rust did pretty much just wipe off of there. Now these were locked up pretty good and they're no longer locked up at all. I mean, they're, they feel pretty good right there. Got a little bit of rust that's still on the underneath of it. Take our bristle brush now.
All right, and I mean, the bristle brush didn't really remove much of the rust that was left on there, which is just kind of underneath and whatnot. Go ahead and take our wire brush to it, see what we can do with that. And voila. Pretty much removed all that black tarnish that was on there. So with a little bit more scrubbing, I could say that we could probably get that close to back to new as possible. It looks pretty good right there. So I would say overall, I'm not gonna sit here and clean all of these in front of you. Uh, this is a pretty good testament that apple cider vinegar absolutely works at removing rust and restoring your tools back to light new. All right, moving on to the distilled white vinegar. Go ahead and pull these tools out that we're soaking in here. So I believe these pliers were pretty close to locked up. They've loosened up pretty good. A lot of the rust that was on there has already been knocked off of them. So go ahead and wipe these down a little bit. So just using a rag with that right there, it pretty much knocked off most of the rust we still see a little bit of pitting and stuff that's taking place from where the rust was but we can clean that up with a wire brush get those back to new uh, but what i want to really look at with this was this wrench right here this wrench was pretty well rusted go ahead and wipe it down and see what we can do with this wrench All right, so we've wiped it down a little bit. We still got a little bit of rust on both ends of it right there. But for the most part, most of the rust did just kind of wipe off of there. Take our bristle brush to it. bristle brush didn't really do much to remove the rust that was still sitting in those spots so let's see if we can knock it off with a wire brush All right, and that's pretty much what the wire brush has done. We still got a little bit of pitting, but this, this thing was absolutely coated in rust. Maybe if we soaked it a little bit longer, it would knock the rest of the rust off right there. Or if we had a grinder with a, a, a wheel on it or something like that, we can buff those spots out of there. Or we can just work on it a little bit longer with a wire brush. But does distilled vinegar work at removing deep rust i would say so i mean this wrench was in pretty bad shape whenever we put it in this container and uh i'd say that it's turned out pretty decent right now i mean a little bit more work on that and i think we could get it to look close to new all right and then lastly we have our industrial strength 30 percent vinegar uh, I've been told by a lot of people in other videos that I've done that this vinegar is the route to go uh, when cleaning and restoring tools. So we're about to pull them out here and see if it's made a big difference versus the apple cider and the distilled white vinegar. What tool are we going to go with? So look at that rust right there. That's rust that is just flaking off of there. 
and the, these are my fishing pliers that stay in salt water. They weren't locked up at all, but I'd say that they were rusted pretty bad whenever I put them in there. And that rust is wiping away. Oh yeah. I mean, it's pretty much removed it. So you saw right there that that rust pretty much just wiped off with ease. You still got that kind of black tarring, or I, I don't really know what, it, what it's called, but like a tarnishing that happens with this um, process. But I believe if we take that wire brush to it, it will remove a lot of that tarnishing that's taking place. And I mean, that was only about 20, 30 seconds of scrubbing with it. I believe I can get it a lot better than that with that uh, wire brush, a little bit extra work. But overall, I'd say that that worked probably the best all right so y'all pretty much saw it right there i'm gonna go ahead and give y'all my conclusion on everything we just saw right here okay and so of all of these things your distilled white vinegar and your apple cider vinegar cost the same at about five dollars a gallon the industrial 30 percent vinegar costs 21 dollars a gallon so it's four times the cost of your other vinegars the other thing with the industrial vinegar is that you either have to order it online or find a place that has it like a lowe's i went to three different lowe's locally and finally found one that had it in stock uh, but it's not something that you would just have in your cabinet also to something to take in keep in mind here is that the 30 percent vinegar comes with warning labels on it keep out of reach of children poison causes eye and skin burns harmful if swallowed okay your other two vinegars if your kids or dogs get a hold of it you're not going to have as much problems as if somebody gets a hold of that 30 percent vinegar so you're, you're looking at a much more harsh chemical that's kept in your house and it's four times the cost so if it's me i'm probably going to go with the distilled white vinegar first your cost is five dollars a gallon and most likely you're going to have it already at home so you don't have to make any extra trips out to get it it's something that you already have secondly i would probably go with the apple cider vinegar because once again it's only five dollars it did work very very well at removing the rust and it's cheaper and it it's something that is also a little bit more likely for you to have it at home, probably not as popular as distilled white vinegar, but it is commonly sold at every Walmart, every grocery store. So it's very, very easily to get whenever you need it in a pinch. Lastly, I would go with the industrial vinegar because the cost is $21 a gallon. It is more harmful if uh, swallowed or come in contact with your skin, dogs, children, things like that and it's harder to find i can't just run out to the store and pick it up if i need it so that's pretty much our conclusion i hope y'all enjoyed the video if y'all did hit the like button comment with any questions subscribe if you haven't already we'll see y'all next time